For the following exercises, use the vertical line test to determine which graphs show relations that are functions. All right, so the vertical line test is fairly straightforward. Uh, what it says that um, if we have a certain graph or a certain relation as drawn here on the graph on the left in blue, if we were to draw a vertical line anywhere along this graph where this vertical line will only intersect at one particular location on that graph, like it does, then this relation here in blue is a function, okay? So basically to sum it up, right, if a vertical line intersects as we wrote down here under the memorize this section, right, vertical line test, if the vertical line intersects the graph only once, then the graph is a function. So here it intersects the graph once, and only once, it does not intersect it twice, therefore it is a function. All right, so we can say that this first case is indeed a function. Why does that work? Well, the reason why it works is because, well, first due to the definition of what a function is. A function is where each x can have only one y. So if I choose a particular x value on my graph, right, here's the x coordinate, and like the line I drew over here, I chose the value of x is equal to x is equal to negative one. At x is equal to uh, negative one, <clears throat> only has one solution, right? That's where the intersection point occurs. And since intersections occur where solutions are, that means that this vertical line has only one point of intersection. And therefore it has only one solution or one y value for this x value of negative one, okay? Moving on to the second example, if I were to, let's say, go to x is equal to three, which will be right about here, Okay, if I draw my vertical line, what do we realize? We realize that at this particular point, right, at, at x is equal to uh, 3, we do have two points of intersection, one point here and one point here. What that means is at x is equal to 3, which we detailed right here, x is equal to 3, there are two solutions, meaning there are two y values. It almost looks like the y value here will be two, and the y and the y value down here will be negative two. So that cannot be for a function. The same x value cannot have two of the two different y values. That's why this fails the vertical line test, and it is not a function. Okay, moving on to the last example. What this dashed or dotted. Uh, line is showing is that, that that's showing the vertical asymptote, all right? So the, this graph never obtains a value of zero. So in other words, we can, just by looking at the graph, we can probably understand it to be a, a function roughly y is equal to one over x, where if x were zero, this thing becomes undefined, all right? So I can still apply my vertical line test. So I draw, let's say, a vertical line here. It only intersects the graph at one point, great. It only intersects, let's say I draw it over, over here at, at around four. It only intersects at that one point. So that passes the test, right? If you even were to draw a graph down the middle, uh, excuse me, a line down the middle, it doesn't intersect the graph any place. And that's okay. That doesn't invalidate that it's a function, right? Technically speaking, at most one intersection, all right? Um, we can still call the relation a function then. So in this particular case, since no matter where I draw my vertical line, there's only one point of intersection, I can then state that this is indeed a function. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.